What is NFT and how does it work? Have you ever heard of an NFT? How about blockchains that are immutable? What does that even mean? The next generation of crypto is here. It's bringing major changes to cryptocurrency. This video will explain what NFT is and how it works in crypto. Let's dive into the details of what makes a blockchain immutable and how NFT crypto works. And a little disclaimer, this information is not investment advice. It is for educational purposes only. Any investment involves risk. Please invest wisely. And having said that, we hope that this video provides you with information that is of benefit to you. Cryptocurrencies are a form of currency that can either store value or allow you to buy and sell goods. Cryptocurrency tokens can be used as fungible tokens that are similar to fiat currencies like the dollar. NFT cryptocurrency, also known as network-based cryptos, is a new type of digital cash. NFTs create unique tokens that can be used to show ownership or convey rights over digital goods. NFTs, a new category of crypto, are gaining a lot more attention and showing great promise. They can be used to represent many digital assets, including in-game items and tickets for events. They're completely decentralized, and they're not built on top of a blockchain like most other cryptocurrencies instead. Networks are made up of nodes that all work together to verify and record transactions. One of the most important ways to improve your crypto investing is to try and understand what the tokens you buy. If you're trying to assess if a crypto project is promising, you need to have an idea of how the technology works. To assess whether a crypto project is worth your time, you must have a basic understanding of the technology. That's why we've prepared this short guide explaining how NFT crypto works. Over the past year, NFT or non-fungible tokens has seen a rise in popularity. They are not interchangeable with other cryptocurrencies, but they can still be traded and sold on exchanges just like traditional cryptocurrencies. The NFT market is closer to the art world, where pieces are valued based on their uniqueness or the way they represent an idea. Non-fungible tokens, the first thing you need to know is that they can't be fungible. Each NFT is unique, and each digital representation of an asset such as a ticket or collectible has its own characteristics. NFTs, which are digital assets that can only be used once, are extremely valuable. These tokens can be backed by an asset or a utility. In other words, their value is determined by their underlying assets. NFT acts more like a certificate of ownership than a traditional cryptocurrency. It is less similar to the currency you use every day than it does to the art or real estate you purchase as an investment. A painting is an example of something that is not fungible. Every painting is unique, and each one has its own history and characteristics. It is easy to tell the difference between one painting and another. The OpenSea marketplace allows you to purchase NFTs. Users can post NFTs for sale by anyone. The marketplace is a decentralized application DApp, built on the Ethereum blockchain. This means that no central authority has control over the platform. Software engineering has always been about storing information using identifying variables. The metadata that identifies a photo on your phone is metadata like the model of the camera and the date and time it was taken. NFTs eliminate the need to identify each asset individually. Instead, blockchain technology acts like a public ledger that verifies ownership. This allows more information to be stored directly on the asset's data field. For example, an image file could contain thumbnail images along with other attributes such as who took it and when. NFTs are currently dominating the digital art and collectibles market. Digital artists are seeing a significant change in their lives thanks to the massive sales of crypto audience. Celebrities are joining the digital art fray to make it easier for their fans. But digital art isn't the only way you can use NFTs. These can be used to identify ownership of unique assets such as deeds for physical or digital items. Crypto Kitties are a collectible that is associated with a particular cat. Each token is unique and has its own genetics and physical characteristics. These tokens can be combined to breed more cats, that's the beauty of digital collectibles. You can trade, buy, trade, trade, or create NFTs through online marketplaces and exchanges. The creator or current owner may set a price. An NFT auction may require you to also bid. NFTs have the added advantage of being able to trade without using an exchange. Trades can be made directly with NFT owners without the need for intermediaries. You can trade your crypto kitties for crypto puppies by another person or art on the blockchain. If you have NFTs, you can trade them. NFTs cannot be copied like fiat currencies. Because of this, they are almost impossible to counterfeit. It is also much harder to steal them than other cryptocurrencies, 
if they are correctly implemented by NFT developers using the appropriate security measures. How does NFT work? Understanding the concept of non-fungible tokens is important to understanding NFT crypto. A fungible token can be exchanged with another token of the same value. A dollar bill, for example, is fungible as it can be exchanged for another dollar bill. A baseball card can be exchanged for another baseball card, which is why it's fungible. Non-fungible tokens are becoming the standard for digital ownership of unique digital items and assets, such as crypto kitties and crypto punks. NFTs have a unique value because they can be used as rare digital assets or items in games and applications that are built on top of Ethereum and other blockchain platforms. Here is an example from the real world that illustrates the concept of NFT. Let's say that you want to purchase a car at a used car dealer. You cannot break down the car into smaller units, such as a Craigslist car for sale. Although you could buy shares of the stock, then you would have ownership rights. You could drive the car wherever you want if you own 100% of it. If the dealership decides that 20% of their profits from the car is to be sold, they will have to share those profits with you, and then give them back to you as dividends. However, you wouldn't own any tangible evidence of your stock ownership in the vehicle. Instead, you would have a piece of paper that represented your share of ownership. Here are some of the NFT, non-fungible token, crypto basics. 1. Every NFT is unique just like physical objects. Every NFT is given a name and protected by smart contracts. Each NFT is managed by its own smart contract that records the current owner as well as other information about it. 2. NFTs are tokens that aren't owned, but are instead controlled by the owner, a key, of a unique identification number. The key owner can grant permission to another person to use the token or transfer ownership to them. This makes it simple for those who don't have any experience in crypto to understand the process. The key is kept on a chain. This means that everyone has access to it. This makes it easy to identify who is who. NFTs can be used for everything, including digital collectibles and company stocks. 3. Tokens called NFTs can be used to signify ownership of unique items. These tokens can be used to tokenize items such as art, collectibles, and real estate. They can only be owned by one person at a given time. The Ethereum blockchain secures them. No one can alter the ownership record or copy or paste new NFTs into existence. 4. ERC721 is used for most NFTs. You might also be interested in other standards. ERC1155 permits semi-fungible tokens. This is particularly useful for gaming. EIP2309 was recently proposed to improve NFT minting efficiency. This standard allows you to mint as many NFTs in one transaction. 5. NFTs are changing the way in-game purchases can be made in video games. All digital assets purchased within a game were owned by the company. Gamers bought them temporarily to use in the game. NFTs are a way to transfer ownership of assets to the buyer. This means they can be sold and bought across all platforms with an additional value based on their ownership. Whole games now are based solely on NFTs. 6. NFTs make a great match for digital assets such as house plans, mockups, themes, domains, and domains. Digital real estate is becoming increasingly popular in games such as Decentraland. These allow players to buy and create a number of spaces in a virtual universe. NFT is a way to ensure that original creators can be traced back to these items. 7. NFTs have a unique set of information about an asset, or a good program. They are a great match for issuing certificates and identities, qualifications, licenses, and licenses. To make the identification or certification traceable back to its source, it can be issued directly via the blockchain as an NFT. NFTs and the gaming industry. NFTs have revolutionized the gaming industry, allowing players to own virtual items within games. Game developers can create in-game objects that can only be copied once per user. This means that only one person can use the weapon or character. The item can be traded or sold to other players, making it possible for you to purchase virtual items without spending real money. NFTs can also be used to create collectible games in which users can buy NFTs. NFT allows people to trade and own digital assets outside the game. It is a digital asset that you can trade and own as an individual unit. Each NFT can be traded independently, just like a baseball card or physical coin. This is what you should visualize if you have trouble visualizing it. Think of your favorite video game, the one that you've spent hundreds or thousands of hours playing. 
your avatar is your character with all its special characteristics, weapons, armor, etc. because your character is unique, no one can play it like you. Those are the things that you need to know before considering buying NFT. You should know that an NFT is not an investment and may lose its value. Some NFTs can fetch thousands of dollars or even millions, while others could be worthless or remain in existence. Now for my secret to learning cryptos like a pro and that was I joined the Cryptoversity, where you can learn quickly and easily how to get into crypto, trading, and enhancing your profitability. Link in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this video and it has helped you with information about NFT and how it works. We hope that you make better informed decisions after watching this video. Have a suggestion? Leave a comment below. Hit subscribe and never missed another Bitcoin and cryptocurrency video again. Thanks for watching.